Sarah Uten crossed the Pacific Ocean from Alaska to Japan in nothing but a rowboat, setting a world record. She spent 150 days at sea, all alone. Uten circled the world by land and sea, using only her own muscle power, by rowboat, kayak, and bicycle. She started out from London in 2011 at the age of 25. Four and a half years later, she returned to the British capital. It's inspired me. It's nearly killed me on a few occasions. It's taken me to some amazing places of the world and some interesting places in my own character and some really dark places in, in sort of um, difficult times. And so to be looking back at the whole journey uh, was quite emotional. On November 3rd of this year, the British adventurer returned home. Since then, she's been trying to settle back into normal, everyday life. She funded her trip through sponsors and her own savings. It was 2009 when she set her first record at sea. This journey came from a previous journey which I made across the Indian Ocean. And I found it really inspiring and exciting and kind of like my mind opened to the possibilities. And also, I think when you do something that has felt um, really big and difficult to achieve, then it kind of gives you confidence to apply that to something else. Like going all the way around the world. Her journey of 40,000 kilometers included many critical situations, which she captured on camera. It's okay. It's okay. A tropical storm seriously damaged her boat in 2012 and she had to be rescued. She even faced wild animals. We're running away like uh, everyone told us. I'm quite nervous. That's it, better off you go! As nice as you possibly can! Uten crossed 14 countries and two oceans, but the wilds of nature were not the worst challenge she had to face. I think the most dangerous thing on the whole journey has been road traffic. I'm surprised and relieved that I made it home without getting involved in a nasty accident. It was a bit close at times. Apart from two breaks of several months each, she was traveling the whole time. Doctors say her body will need time to recover from the rigors of the past four years. She's now receiving muscle therapy at her home near London. She needs to keep moving because of everything she's, she's been through. She needs to keep everything, all her muscles and limbs just moving and stretched. And maybe some sort of yoga, something like that, just for recovery. Uten originally studied biology, and during her travels, she visited many schools to talk about her adventures. She also kept a blog during her journey with an interactive map so that her blog followers could track her progress. I got on the bike and cycled up through Alaska and down into Canada and across Canada. Sometimes she's hired by companies as a motivational speaker, and she certainly has a wealth of new examples to draw on. She approves of the extreme sports trend and believes it can have real benefits. I think it's great that people get out and kind of push themselves in, in the outdoors. I think certainly in Western society, we spend a lot of time inside, too much time inside, sitting down at a desk, working, uh, that to take people outside of their comfort zone is, is a really big, exciting thing. And she should know. At age 30, Sarah Uden is writing her story in a book entitled Dare to Do. A documentary is also being planned. So good. Oh, it's delicious. She has more than enough adventures to share. And her round-the-world trip wasn't just an adventure. She also raised a lot of money for charity. Two weeks on from finishing, I feel calm and happy and glad to be home, just around friends and family. But she's still keen to get out on the water whenever she can. Her next trip, she says, won't be solo, but with her fiancé, who she proposed to by satellite phone while halfway across the Pacific. <laughs>